Elsa and I climbed the mountain. I want to fly down the hill. Yeah, now we get to ski down. I want to go there and see if it was. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, sorry the lighting's terrible right now, but it's it's winter outside, so gotta keep the hair closed and uh, the heat on here to work on the plane. I got the 10 s per heater uh, warming up the engine. I'm gonna be doing an oil change and uh, fuel filter change. It's 50 hour oil change on it. I do, I do 50 hour oil changes. Um, that's what Rotec and Vernon uh, BC here recommend um, even though you can go to 100 if you use premium car gas um, but they recommend 50 and I'm gonna be switching over to the new oil the XPS 5W50 fully synthetic uh, I learned a little bit about it um, it's better for the engine it, they've done some tests tear downs and the engines look pristine after 2,000 hours with this with this oil, um, so it seems to be better for the engine, and it's also apparently better if you run 100 low lead. Uh, you don't have to put that Declan in the fuel anymore to get rid of the the lead content. I'm told that this oil will take care of it. Yeah, so you can use a UV light to detect where the leak is coming on your aircraft with this new oil because it's got a dye in there to help you find the leaks. Um, so that's pretty pretty neat. It's about, I'd say, th 2 to $3 more per liter versus the other oil, the Sport Plus 4. And yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Contains detergent that helps to keep critical areas such as pistons and cylinders clean. And it is, yeah, it's on the list for the 912 IS engine now. You can, it's uh, certified by Rotax to put in this engine, so I'm going to do it. If it's better for the engine, why not? Um, for a few dollars more. So yeah, gotta take the cowl off, put this oil in. I might change an oil line and do an oil purge just because I'm changing out the oil to something else. So I want to kind of get all the oil, old oil out of there and the new stuff in so it's not mixing at all. Um, so that's my plan for today. Alright, let's get to it. All right, I'm ready to drop the oil. I, per I um, burped the engine, so you want to do that to get the oil out of the crank uh, case. Now, what I like to do is drain a little bit and see if there's any contaminants, pieces of anything that come out, because I have had that thrust washer failure on my last engine a bunch of plastic at the bottom of the oil tank so I went through the engine into here and yeah just want to make sure that there's nothing crazy in there this looks really clean no debris so that one time the thrust washer did fail I found a bunch of debris inside at the bottom here plastic 
bits. But that looks good. So we'll let that drain for a while. I'm gonna do the fuel filter here. I had to top up my coolant. I think I have a small leak somewhere. I'm really not sure where yet. Every once in a while when I hit turbulence, um, I, I smell coolant burning a little bit, like it's dropping onto the exhaust. And I'm getting it in the cabin, the smell. So I think I have a little bit of an, a coolant leak. I'm just not sure where it is yet. I'll tighten up all the connectors. I can't find where it is. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions where to find it. I do see a little bit at the bottom of the, of the water pump on the bottom. So there's a little bit that sits there and I'm pretty sure it's just touching, it's dropping on the, on the heater, the shroud around my muffler. Um, and it's just burning off and I can smell it in the cabin. I'm pretty sure it's coming down to that bottom. <sighs> right there, I'll get my light. I wiped it off now, but there's the bottom of the coolant pump and it sits at the bottom here, right there. And it, yeah, I think it's just dripping here because there's kind of signs that it's dripping there as well. But I don't know if it's dripping from higher up or if it's from the seal here at the bottom of the uh, water pump. Yeah, I just can't, can't see where it's coming from. Exactly, but there I do have a couple things I can tighten up, so we'll try that and hopefully it helps. Alright, so I am ready to do the filter on the engine. I got the new one here. I'm gonna, I got the oil on a heater just to warm it up so it flows a little nicer. Um, we are gonna put some oil in the new filter and just dab some oil around the seal. Um, it's a contentious issue if you should fill these up or not. I feel like why not? You just fill them up. They sh should have oil in them, so just fill them up and spin the new one on and try not to make a mess. So we'll fill this up and then we'll take the old one off and then put this on. All right, let's go. These ones have a seal on them. That's different. You can see how neon green this oil is. It's really weird. Very strange. That's a dye that helps you find leaks. Alright, so if you guys don't know, you just want to tighten it till it's till the seal is touching. The green seal. And you just want to tighten it till it's hand tight and the seal is touching the metal. That's good. Now you got this green dot. I'm supposed to go three quarters of a ro rotation, so it should be at the bottom there when it's all done. All right, so there you have it. Green dots here at the bottom. And I'll just clean up all the oil. And now I just gotta put the new oil in. All right, let's drop this new green oil into here. All right guys, so I'm at the airport finally. It's not so windy the last few days after I've done the oil change have been extremely gusty windy days. Um, I'll show you guys a video of my kids playing outside in the wind. And... So ready to test out this new oil that I got in the plane, the XPS oil. First thing I will have to do is just do a little bit of a run up, uh, get the oil warm and then check the oil level to make sure it's good before we go up in the air. So let's go do that run up now.